So I think I, everyone knows what stay in orbit is, but the basics is that we want to collect data from a number of different sources, um, combine the data, and visualize it in a way that it makes sense to everyone. For us to be able to be more efficient, to uh, take decisions always based on the most accurate data, and also to be more transparent to our customers. So far we have been focusing mostly on the core, uh, the foundation of the platform, getting all the data in there, and uh, the basic visualization of it, um, the things we do every day, doing it just a little bit better. So that's, for instance, the map that everyone has seen, uh, the daily performance monitoring, but also the tracking of our competitors, what they're up to, and how they're trading, and how they're utilizing their fleet. I want to talk about the functionalities and what Orbit can do so far. And um, what you can see here on the map, you have the dotted line. So the dots are the daily and noon reports from the ship. The line is the AIS position. And then you have the, the dotted line is the itinerary, so the, the future reports. Here we have the Stena Imperative and she's red. And red means that there is some kind of notification or alert connected to the ship. And when it's red, it's 10% above budget, and orange would be 5%. So in this case, if you're an operator, then you look into why is there a deviation. Doing so, you go into the energy management part, and you see that the ship is over-consuming, and then you wonder why. And by clicking this square, you come into the graphs, where you can see the speed and consumption, and also the weather uh, during the last 30 days. What you can see regarding the weather on this voyage is that the weather has worsened the couple of days, which could be the reason behind the overconsumption. On top of this, you can apply a layer for the weather, and then you can see that the, the ship is passing an area of high seas, uh, which is the reason why she's overconsuming. So in this case, you can dismiss the alert and then look again tomorrow and monitor the continuous voyage. You can also apply the layer of high-risk area. So if you have a voyage that is passing high-risk area, you will get alerts before the entry. And this will also be connected to Stena Insurance so that you can arrange insurance swiftly through the system. And what we also like to use the system for is to gather a lot of information for ports that you usually store, maybe in Outlook or in some Excel spreadsheets, and have everything in one place. Durban, for example, you can see the activity in Durban, which ships has been there, what they've been doing, and then also see the details about the different activities that you have. Um, war risk premium, for example, if you have that in a port. Cost for slops or the bunker procedure if it's import or at anchorage. Everything you normally store in the spreadsheets, you can now input here and share with your colleagues. And you can make comments if it's something you should pay attention to for next time. You could add it here and it will say who edited it and what date. In addition to follow our own ships, we can also follow our competitors' vessels. So you can create your own groups of uh, competitors and you can sort by owner. Here, for example, we have Alliance tankers on the map. And if you click one of the ships, uh, you can see their last uh, passages and you can see the current speed, the current uh, heading. You can see the draft. And by seeing the draft, then we can estimate if the ship is in ballast and laden. And from that, we get this optimization ratio. So you can see the ship, the, the ballast laden ratio. Combining this with the whole fleet, you can then create heat maps and see the flows of cargoes of the areas that you're interested in. So this was a couple of examples what Orbit can do in the core functionalities and the competitor tracking is a good example that we have created as a result of feedback from you. So please play around with it, continue to find improvements and we will reach out to you for more feedback. Thank you. So now that we have the foundation in place, that would also allow us to implement new things, the things that really add value and that differentiates us from our competitors. We can also apply modern technology such as machine learning to the data that we already have. That will allow us to, uh, for instance, match cargoes and vessels in a better way, utilize our fleet in the best possible way, um, and also do predictions on the market and how our competitors will behave. It will also allow us to open up even more to our uh, customers and be more transparent. 
And that's basically what the vision is. It's um, for us to be able to transform the way we do our, our daily business and the way we operate our vessels, but also start to transform the industry uh, to something that is more transparent and also more sustainable.